Where do I even begin? is it it is now 4 26 a.m i am so excited <laughs> i'm i know i'm up super early um because i want to get started on my makeup early because i want to like really really take my time you know and like relax kind of like meditate i have my headphones in so i'm just focusing and um I still have to wait a little bit to do my check-in with my coach anyways, which I'll do with you guys too, um, which is in about an hour. So I'm going to do my makeup for about an hour um, because right after I check in with coach, like we're going to have to do a meal, go get my second coat of tan. So I was like, okay, I need to get a good chunk of my makeup done before that. So we're going to start beating this face. Okay, guys. So I am doing the Peach Out, oh, they all fell out, palette from ColourPop for my look. So I'm whenever I wanna do a more dramatic eye look with eyeshadow, I start with my eyeshadow first. So usually I would do my foundation first, but I prepped my, I did my eyebrows, prepped my eyes with the Rare Beauty, um, Rare Beauty, what is this called? Eyeshadow primer. And then set it with like a powder. And this is so pretty already. So I'm just starting with like a light pink. Crap. I think I mixed up my colors. Oh well. Guys, I did a bomb job picking a foundation color 
to match my tan. So obviously like I still have another layer of tan to go and knowing that I also got a darker color contour stick and a darker um, bronzer and I blended it down my neck and it matched perfectly. So I used, my go-to is the NARS Soft Matte Foundation. This is seamless. It covers so much, it lasts all day. This is what I use every day. So this is my regular shade. So what I did, instead of buying an entire thing and spending money, even though it, I'm only gonna be using it for a day, go to Sephora and get yourself a tester of the darker color foundation and also bring your, your natural color foundation so you can kind of cocktail it. So what I did is when I was doing my skin prep, I put this on my neck so I can see how well it matched first to see if I was gonna need to lighten it or if I was gonna need to darken it and it ended up being perfect. You still want your face to be a little bit lighter than your skin. You don't wanna match it completely because naturally your face isn't going to be matching your skin because it doesn't get as much sun as your skin. So that's what we're using for the face and I'm using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. I love this stuff so much. It's what I use on a regular basis because I do full beat on a regular basis. So guys, I have this down and I know like I would love to do a full makeup tutorial for this look. So if you guys like it, comment down below and I'll do my show day makeup look for you guys so that you can come back because honestly, I'm just, I know what, I know what the look I want is, but I'm also just kind of winging it because I love makeup and I used to be a makeup artist. So yeah. Okay. So I have my suit on. I'm getting ready to do my check-ins with my coach. Um, but Zach sent me a voice memo. Zach couldn't be here and Ian had to leave because I wasn't planning on doing this show. So usually, you know, Zach would be here, but he has a retreat that he had already planned um, that he's hosting in Austin. And I was like, go do your thing. I'll go and do my thing. And Ian already had something booked, but he even came a couple days before to get some videos done for you guys and flew out like literally the next day. So Zach just sent me a voice memo this morning. Good morning, baby. I love you so much and I'm so proud of you and you look fantastic. So go out there today and just shine, be who you are and that is enough. And I love you, I miss you. And please let me know how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when you get off stage. Um, all right, bye baby. Come on. Okay guys, so don't mind the toilet, but the, I tried to do it like in the room, but it's, there's so much like down lighting that it's like getting shadows. So this is like the best that we have right now. I woke up, as you guys saw, at my lightest weight this, I haven't been 132 since, before I started training, like high school. This is, it's crazy. And my one of my goals that I've been writing down in my journal every single day since my last show was that I wanted to be 8% body fat or lower. And I wanted to be 132 pounds when I woke up show day morning. Guys, there are so many things that I have written down very specifically on my goals in the morning. And I, when I writing them down, I'm writing them as if they've already happened. So I'm not like, I want, I wish, maybe, I hope. It's like, no, I am 132 pounds show day morning. I am the most confident person on stage. And I've had so many of them come true this year. It's crazy. So this is what we're looking like. You probably won't be able to see my face, but unless I stand on the toilet.
guys, I had to show you this. I brought a tape measure. I've, I've had the goal of having a 24 inch waist show day morning. This is where we're at. Right in between 24 and 23. So I measured out, coach got back to me, and he says we are right on the money. Ew, look at my hands. So I measured out eight ounces of coffee, this is what he told me, and we have eight ounces of water in here. I need to finish this within the hour. Um, for the coffee, I just used this plain one, cold, because there's nothing that's open early enough for me to go get coffee, and it's a time saver. So we're gonna do this, and I'm going to, I have to get to my tanning appointment at 6.45 and I'm gonna probably have to eat my meal right before I get out of the car to go to my tanning session, so yeah. Okay, so this is my first meal. I'm gonna have to bring it in this bag with me to my tanning session and I'm gonna just leave now to be there a little early so I can eat in my car. So we have two whole eggs. I just cooked them in an eighth teaspoon of salt. That's what coach specifically said. So we have an eighth teaspoon in there um, of salt and then 45 grams of my favorite cereal and 83 grams of bloobs. So we're gonna put it in here and get going on our second tanning session. Okay, so we did my check-in with my coach, and right now I'm sipping on six, seven ounces of water. He says everything's looking good. I went upstairs really quick to um, pack my my food because he gave me my pump-up meal. It's gonna be some checks, of course, and some salt. So it's already packed and ready to go. My bag is ready to go. The only thing I need to do is finish my hair. I also packed the amount of, what's it called? Water that he wants me to have post stage so that I have it. And I am going to, I'm not going to touch my hair. I'm, I'm gonna curl it and then just keep it like that because I plan to get there at 9 a.m because pre-judging starts at 9.30 and at this time, like, I want to show you guys, like, backstage, you know, and what it looks like and, like, relax a little bit longer. Last time I didn't get much time to because I was fixing my makeup. Um, so I'm gonna keep my hair, like, super curly in these little ringlets and when I'm there, I'll bring my brush and I'll just, like, brush it out so that it lasts longer and we're gonna hairspray every single section. Excessive, I know. Okay guys, so this is what we did. I did a little side part and I just like slicked it with a little bit of oil on the side and it's gonna just kind of like lay over my ear. A little glam wave and then this little front piece, I just did it all back. All of the curls are back, I teased a little bit. So see how they're just, they're super curly lots of volume and then I'm gonna brush it out and I brought an oil with me so that once I do that, it's um, nice and soft. My hair's still super clean and I washed it literally Wednesday and it's Saturday. I dig it. Okay, got my bag ready, makeup bag for backstage. Now we're just gonna put our suit and jewelry on. Suit is on. We're going with our winning suit. And then I'm gonna do this little cover. And this is the one I was telling you guys about. It's adorable. And I love it because it zips all the way from the bottom to the top. So then when I wanna get out, I just zip, zip, zip.
All right, let's go. anywhere between 15 or 30 minutes. I mean, it, it probably was 30 minutes after that. Okay, so that's perfect. I was gonna say, if, if, if what I was thinking was, if it was like- It was pretty quick. Okay, because no. I was worried, like, if it was like an hour, an hour and a half after that, then you would, you would have absolutely been flat. Yeah. I can't find any, like, photos or videos right now of okay. anybody who did you're, anything. You're, because they didn't show everything that I could, from, from what I could see on, um, I saw some some people that I knew just sent me photos of you quickly, but they were too far back. So like I didn't I didn't get a, a clear view. I just yeah. saw you at one point. But so you were in this you were in the center of the second quad. Yes. Okay, so that puts us at like I, don't, I can't remember if there were six or seven in the first. I'm gonna oh, no. look. The first call out had one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm probably seventh. You're in seventh. Okay. Yeah. Not what we came for, but these things happen. Yeah. Um, I don't know what was going on, but when I stepped on stage first, because they had us cut down our routine, so I had to do like a shorter version of it, I started getting really dizzy and really lightheaded and almost fell and was like, damn it, like my posing okay. is what what people look forward to for me. Yeah, yeah. And I can, I can just feel that my body was like w way more wobbly than I've ever been. I know that there's like the adrenaline and the nerves. And then I right, went right, backstage and they were like, are you okay? I was like, I don't know. And there was two nurses back there and they're like, well, how do you feel? And I was like, well, like a little dizzy and I almost like tripped a little bit on stage. I was like, but that's never really happened to me before. So they're like, sit down. And then when I went back, for my second one, the left side of my chest inside started hurting. And I went back to the nurse lady and was like, um, <laughs> she was also a competitor. I was like, what is this? She goes, you probably need, 
you probably need water. So I yeah. did. Yeah, I was just gonna say, dude, you gotta drink water. Yeah. Don't wait for me to answer. Fucking drink your water. Okay. Yeah, I was and just like. On these, <laughs> any circumstances you feel that way. Yeah. I need you to immediately hydrate. Yeah. I was like, they were like, here, drink some water, have this. I was like, I'm scared to. I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> They're like, no, listen, please. Like if, if you, if you, if you need it, you're. It's, you trust me. It's not gonna. It's not gonna ruin your look. Like your your body needs it at that point to function. It's not even. It's not a look thing. Regardless of regardless of, of the placing tonight. Yeah. Like you gotta look at the win as in a sense of like, did you beat the the previous best version of you? And if the answer is yes, then that's a win in itself. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I am. I'm not disappointed in my placing and like where I am. I think I'm more disappointed in my presentation and how I felt when I was on stage. Like I was like, damn. Yeah, like, I, feel that. I, feel I was that. like, that's I what like, I'm. You feel like you, you feel like you couldn't have, you couldn't show your best because of how you felt. Yes, yes. Um, I feel you. But being on stage next to those top, like top ten Olympians, and being yeah. even where I was, I was like. I mean, I'm even, I'm glad that I'm even here. So, <laughs> it was pretty crazy. Okay, guys. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, so I finally, you know, if you, you guys saw that, I was like, wait, where's my pillow for my butt? You, I did a little check-in with Coach immediately. That's the first person that I, you know, check in with right when I got back. So I got to meet so many of you incredible people. Oh my God. I literally started like, I started crying because I was like, this is, this is why I do what I do. This is why I'm here, you know? Um, it's just so amazing. And I'll show you some of the things. They brought me gifts. Oh my God, it was so sweet. I just can't with you guys. I just can't. Um, so. Updates, 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 updates. I'm so, I'm very brain foggy, so I really apologize. I'm doing my best. So it looks like I got second call outs and there was six girls in the first call outs lineup, which what means that I am seventh because I got center of second call outs. They moved me at the last minute and I was like, oh, this is crazy. But as um, you might've heard with some of the footage from me chatting with coach, I, I'm not, the only thing that I'm disappointed at is like how my body like physically felt when I was on stage. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the footage, um, but I was so wobbly and I am not normally that wobbly when I'm on stage. Like it was, I, you know, you know your body and you know when something is off and something was just off. And um, <laughs> I can't even. I can't even form words right at this point. I need to take a nap, but um, wobbly. Yes, I was I was so wobbly. I almost tripped a little bit, and I, that's what I am upset about. I'm not upset about my placing or anything like that because I'm like, dang it, like, I, I love doing my presentation and my posing routine, and you know, I'm gonna get another shot to do it at finals. Um, but they had us do a shortened version for the first part and then we get to do our full routine for the second So I'm planning on coming back and freaking nailing that Routine the full routine and we're gonna fix the issues with like feeling very wobbly and fatigued and stuff and coach was mad at me He was like if you're ever feeling like that dude. He's like just freaking drink water I just didn't want to mess anything up um, And we didn't do anything different than than what we normally do like this didn't happen last time so you know, he's also trying to figure out like, okay, where can we improve? Like come back to finals, like looking even better. And also just for other shows, like the fine tuning, it, what we can do to just come back better. So I feel very, ex you know, exhausted, which is expected, but more than normal, way more than normal. So we're gonna do a check-in with coach in a couple of minutes. Um, I'm gonna put my suit on. We're gonna do a little physique update. I'll take you guys through it. And then he's gonna send me like a full plan for the rest of the day leading until finals. And yeah, so see you in a second. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to do this later because I, I really don't have the energy to do it, but I wanted to show you the presents that um, one of the girlies who follows me on YouTube, Kim, gave me. And I also got some treats too. 
Um, oh, so sweet, so sweet. <laughs> I'm just looking through this gift that Kim gave me. And it's so thoughtful. She even got a gift for Ian. It says Ian because the cameraman, the cameraman never, never stopped. He, he keeps up with the good work. She got him a gift. And it's all. I mean, I don't want to open his gift, but it just the fact that she thought about him and there's gifts for, for Vision and for Reese. They got little toys and they got treats. There's a hand, there's a handmade dream catcher. That one fell off though. Yeah. Oh my God. It's different. It's just so sweet and so thoughtful. I can't open it now. Okay guys, I managed to stop crying long enough to open the present. <laughs> So this is from Kim. I just, like look at all of these little snackies. They're so thoughtful and they're like made with really good ingredients and stuff. And all the little snackies and some drinks. I, I showed you that she made something for Ian so I kept it closed for him. And this was for me right here. Look at all of these. You guys know that this is stuff that I love. Oh my God. There's even turquoise and she hand writ what each of them, hand wrote, sorry, <laughs> what each of them mean. And a handmade dream catcher. Um, and this is all the stuff that she got for Reason Vision. Kim, I love you so much. Thank you for being so thoughtful, guys. And she also, I'm not gonna uh, put the card in there because these for me only, but she put money in there, which is uh, like never, never asked, oh my God so that I can buy a burger and fries tonight. She was like, I wanna pay for your dinner. Like, what? Okay, coach got back to me and immediately after at about one o'clock, I had 12 ounces of water and then now it's two o'clock and I'm eating some salmon. We have blueberries, oats, and there's also an eighth teaspoon of salt mixed in. And so we're gonna eat this and then do check-in photos in an hour plus drink six ounces of coffee or water. Guys, I literally have one, two, three pillows that I'm propping my feet up on. <laughs> and it's crazy what this has already done to my physique. I just like looked at my physique and um, it's already looking better. Sorry, this is a little chaotic. And then I have something under my low back and I'm gonna eat. My foodsies right here. I'm gonna start. I always do savory first and then I do sweet. Okay, y'all, it's been an hour since that meal that I had and this is how we are looking. Okay, so we're in the car. Everything is looking good. Coach said that I was looking so much better, a lot fuller. 
he had me do like a little mock like pump up to see how I feel to check if I was dizzy or anything if I had enough water I felt really really good so I'm going to a finals right now I'm headed there I have everything packed it's ready to go I have my pump up meal which I need to eat in less than 30 minutes so I'm just gonna like get backstage chill relax and everything and I'll see you there finals is over I showered really quick and I honestly my mom was like just get in some workout clothes and let's go eat and that is what I did and it's honestly the best decision ever because my feet hurt so bad my legs are swollen so we're getting ready to go eat I'll give you guys an update later but right now I need to chill The sugar and the fat and salt and stuff oh my god my face woke up so puffy but it's so worth it so I just wanted to give you guys an update since I didn't get to I was just so tired after the show I was like I just need to to, to take time I always like think about social media stuff first and like content before I think about like family and being present sometimes and I don't want to be that way so I was like okay just focus on like being with my mom and dad instead of like filming every little detail. So we went to the Lucky Beaver last night and I got to meet some girls there too that followed my YouTube channel. It was so amazing and take some photos with them. The food was delicious. It was so, so good. Um, and guys, one of the most incredible things is I finally slept. Like I, woke up at about 8 30 so it's about like 9 a.m right now and um i my mom texted me my uh, like are you awake because we're gonna go have breakfast together and stuff but um i was like i finally slept i slept i i slept till 8 30 my body's been waking me up y'all know at like 3 30 4 a.m and 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 it's a lot like to be that exhausted so just a little recap of show day i looked at the placing online because they posted it and it turns out I placed seventh so that's what we kind of thought after prejudging I did get the judges feedback but I'm a little confused about it um, I kind of know but I kind of don't so I'm gonna talk to my coach about it first and then I'm gonna do a whole like update video once I have my game plan of like what we're gonna do for this off season what we're gonna change what we're gonna work on uh, once I get back home to Austin but for today, I'm just gonna be hanging out with my mom and dad. I don't go home until Monday. So I have all day today to just like relax and chill instead of just jump on a plane and go back to Austin. So 
this has been the most incredible season and I just want to thank you guys so much for your love and support because what I noticed about this season is that the reason that I am put my body through this stuff is so that I can spread the message of know your power, that you are more powerful than you think. And I have done that because every time that I get to meet one of you guys, like I can see how powerful you are and be like, oh my goodness, I can't believe this powerful ass man or woman like follows me, like this is stuff. I mean, of course you do because y'all are amazing. And that is why I do what I do because I want to make a bigger impact than just some just somebody that's like stepping on stage and doing bodybuilding. Like I want to impact your life in a way that gets you to move, in a way that gets you to see your own power because I remember I remember what it felt like to not have it or to not know that it was there and to think that like I couldn't do certain things and that I wasn't gifted or I wasn't talented or or cool enough or pretty enough or or skinny enough or whatever it might be and I don't want any of you guys to ever feel that way because everybody has their own special gift and their own special power and I want you guys to find that and if it's bodybuilding it's bodybuilding if it's not that's cool that's not why I do this I just want you to take seeing me step into my power and hopefully it encourages you to maybe start going to the gym like eat a little bit healthier you know uh take that chance at work go for that promotion you know start your own business whatever it might be because you are so powerful and that's the message that i want to spread with sharing my journey so i feel like i have won over and over again because i get i get the pleasure of knowing people like you and we beat our physique each time that I stepped on stage and that's all you can ask in this sport and I I can't even believe I got my physique even leaner and more shredded and more full the second time around so it's just competitive guys this is a competitive sport the girls on stage are freaking insane you know um you see me and you, sometimes you think like oh my god she looks insane but like there's a lot of oh insane girls and everyone is working just as hard just as long and they all deserve to be there just as much as i do so it was a pleasure to be on stage with some of the girls that have made top 10 at the olympia so i couldn't be happier so this is this is gonna be me signing off for now, but we're gonna have another couple videos left in this series just to close it out, the Prep Diary series, and then we'll start a new one. So I love you all so much, and you're more powerful than you think. Bye. Oh man, okay, 2025. I am doing my first check-in with Coach tomorrow, and we're gonna start a new series here on YouTube of like taking you guys through life after the show and like improvement season, you know, taking all the feedback, adjusting my training, uh, reverse dieting and all of the things and the feels that come with dedicating your life to something for a really long time and then pivoting. I'm not quitting bodybuilding. I'm just saying like, I'm going back to like a quote unquote normal life, but you're always a bodybuilder on and off season. So I'll have a more detailed plan about what we're going to do for that but I'm assuming that we won't compete again until probably, a, I would say a year from the last show. So giving my body enough time. So maybe, when did I compete the last? It was September, early September. Maybe August or September of 2025. Because the thing is, is we want to actually have enough time to make the improvements. So I'm not saying I'm gonna take another two years off. It also just depends on what, what coach thinks, but I definitely still need to put a lot of size on my glutes and what we did these past two years with how we adjusted my training to being glutes and ham focused and every other week being quads, like it actually really worked for my physique because I'm so quad dominant. So we need to have enough time to make those improvements because if we just turn around and I 
you know, get my body healthy, like I get my period back, like all of these things, and then we go right back into dieting again, that gives me no time at all to first get healthy, which takes anywhere from three to four months to get your hormone levels back, for me to get my blood work, for me to see that everything is a-okay again, and then that's when your improvement season starts. So we gotta get to a healthy place first, then improvement season. So I won't make the mistake again of dieting too quickly. So, and we've learned that it works when I give my body a break. <laughs> yeah. If you could describe the last five years in one sentence, what would you say? <sighs> Powerful. <laughs>